A venue and date have already been set for the upcoming royal wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Now, we can't help but wonder, will it be anywhere near as big as that of Prince William and Kate Middleton? And most importantly, what's Meghan's title going to be? To answer all our burning questions, The Hollywood Reporter turned to an expert on royal affairs. Nicholas Witchell, the BBC's royal and diplomatic correspondent since 1998, and one of the most recognizable faces in British TV news. The couple are due to marry at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle on May 19th. The venue seats 800 guests, while Westminster Abbey, the site of William and Kate's wedding, seats around 2,000. Given this, will there be less pomp and ceremony for Harry and Meghan? According to Witchell, in terms of the attendance, that will still have all the principal members of the royal family. Regarding the pomp, I imagine there would have to be some sort of a carriage procession through Windsor. Whether it will be quite the scale of the London procession with the cavalry trotting along behind, I think that is yet to be determined. But it might be brought down a notch or two from William and Kate's, he added. But there will, I'm sure, be trumpeters and a bit of that, just because St. George's Chapel is well used to pomp and pageantry, but on a rather smaller scale. As far as the UK media coverage of the event, Witchell thinks, it'll still be considerable, but perhaps not quite at the level we witnessed those years ago for William and Kate. Why? Well, because Harry's not the next king, and will be sixth in line to the throne by the time of the wedding. But as far as international interest goes, he suspects that there will be considerable international interest, particularly from the U.S., for the obvious reasons. And we in the U.S. are dying to know, what's Meghan's title going to be? Will she be a princess? Well, sort of. Witchell broke it down. She automatically does become Princess Henry of Wales, because the wife takes the style and rank of the husband. Catherine, strictly speaking, is Princess William of Wales. The Queen, being a traditionalist, will, I'm sure, confer a royal dukedom on Harry, so they will become the Duke and Duchess of somewhere. And the smart money seems to be on Sussex for some reason. There are a few royal dukedoms that haven't been used for donkey's years, but people seem to think it's the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that the Queen would confer. So at the moment of their marriage, she would become Her Royal Highness the Duchess of wherever. Now, as for whether or not she's an official princess, Witchell revealed, she does become a princess, but she's not a princess in her own right, because she's not of royal blood. She will not be Princess Meghan any more than Catherine is Princess Catherine. She is Princess William. That's how it works. Diana was not, strictly speaking, Princess Diana, although everyone called her that. She was the Princess of Wales. For much more about what we can expect from the upcoming royal wedding, check out THR.com and head to the comments to let me know if you're excited to see Meghan Markle become Her Royal Highness. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.